Hey guys, what's up? I am finally back with another funny story time. I feel like it has been so long since I've done one of these, and I'm finally back in my own skin. Really quick, I want to say I hit 10,000 subscribers this week, and that is insane. I kept saying I want to hit it before the year ended, and I really didn't think it was going to be possible, but we did it, and I'm very proud of you guys, and proud of myself, and I want to thank you guys so much for that. And while we're on the subject, don't forget to turn on my post notifications, and subscribe, and share this video before you even watch it, because you're a great supporter of me. It really helps and here's to 20,000 and a million. So as you guys can tell by the title this is gonna be a story time of the time I got into a huge gigantic fight with my fat pregnant bitch teacher and yeah it got so bad that the whole entire class left and security and other teachers had to come but we'll get to that and yeah let's get right into the story. So as most of you know I'll say it again for all the new subscribers I was short fat and disgusting in high school. I did really nothing wrong. I didn't start drinking until I was 21 because I'm lame. I never did a drug in my life. I was a good student. And I know it's hard to tell now because I talk so much and I'm vulgar. But trust me, I was a good student. But teachers always hated me. They just always hated me. I don't know if it started in elementary school and they kind of just passed on the word to future generations of teachers. But they always hated me. And I think everyone I went to high school with can vouch for me. You know how when you're in high school you have to take electives, like you could take oceanography or whatever you can take at your high school? I always wanted to take photography. Everyone loved this photography teacher. She was so nice. Everyone talked so highly of her, so highly of the class, and I couldn't wait until I was old enough to finally take it. So that year rolled around, and of course, me, Taylor, and Brittany, who I filmed a gingerbread house video with, <laughs> Link in the description. We all signed up for the class together, and we were gonna take it. Their older sister had already taken the class. The teacher loved her. There's no way this teacher's gonna hate me. Like, I already have, like, someone who knows me. We already have, like, a mutual person that we both love, you know? Like, I thought it was gonna be okay. The only thing that I did hear about the teacher this year was that she was pregnant. And I didn't really think it was gonna affect anything. I didn't, at the time, realize how much pregnancy affected the way you act. Although after this teacher had the baby, she was still a huge bitch. So I don't, I think she was just genuinely a huge bitch to me, but whatever. Photography was a kind of class where it was just like round tables. Everyone kind of sits and like, you could talk during the whole class, like while you work on your projects. It was a very free, open environment kind of class rather than like you sit in your rows and just pay attention to the teacher. So me and Taylor Brittany walk in the class trying to find our seat and the teacher, she was sitting at the computer and she turned around and looked at me up and down. And the first words out of her mouth, I'm pregnant this year and you're my target. I didn't have the huge loud mouth back then that I do now. Right now I would have been like, bitch, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but it's not me. But back then I was like, oh, okay. Like we had a rocky start, her fault, not mine. Like I thought I was gonna love her. She knew she was gonna hate me somehow. But yeah, about a week into the class, she told me that if her kid ever turns out like me, <laughs> she'll kill herself. So that was really nice and I appreciated that a lot. Up until she left on maternity leave, it was a whole lot of her bitching at me for literally nothing. It was an open environment class where like we all kind of just like sat around, like chilled, like worked on our stuff. It wasn't like a silent listen to the teacher like she would sit at her desk and work on her own shit while we would all work on our shit You know what I mean? So it was just a lot of her bitching at me and like moving my seat for nothing And it wasn't even that kind of class like she just like wanted this power trip over me I don't know why maybe because I was like four foot nine I I have no idea. But anyway, after a few months of her bitching me out every single day, every single class, like I wound up dreading this class every day, she finally wound up giving birth to her little fucking monster. She left on maternity leave and I was like, thank the Lord. Like finally we're gonna get a new teacher in here. I can start fresh, even though I never did anything wrong in the first place. I'm gonna eat this teacher's ass. Like we're gonna be best friends. It's gonna be great. So the first day of class with the new teacher, I go in with my head high thinking it's gonna be great. We'll call him Mr. R because his name was Mr. R. He had a huge mustache that just screamed, I love looking at child pornography. Like he had like four tabs of child pornography open on his phone at all moments. That's just his mustache, disgusting. And if I thought she was fucked up, he like took that crown, wore it, fucking bedazzled it, and he's a new king of being fucked up because he was so mean to me and I'll get into that. I just knew it wasn't gonna be a new day, it wasn't gonna be a brighter day, and he was gonna ruin my life just like she did. He carried on the tradition of kicking me out of the class, yelling at me, moving my seat every single day for nothing. Literally for nothing. Like I I know so many YouTubers tell stories and they're like, oh I did nothing wrong, I did nothing wrong. No tea, no shade, but like they do that and I literally did nothing wrong. Like I I wish someone from my high school would like comment and be like, yeah, no he really didn't, but I think everyone from high school hates me. <laughs> He knew he was wrong and being fucked up all the time because he always threw in our face how he was tenured. And for those of you who don't know what tenured is, it means like he could basically do anything. Like he could like slap a student across the face with his dick and like they'll be like, oh, it's fine. He's tenured. He still has his job. Like slap on the wrist. 
that's it. So yeah, he always threw in our face that he was tenured. So that just showed me he knew he was wrong and he was kind of just like, <laughs> can't do anything about it. In our photography room, we had a separate room called the dark room. For the first half of the year, we were not allowed to use this room. And then towards the middle of the year, we had to get a permission slip signed saying that we were allowed to go in there and use it to develop all our pictures if we used real film. So the first day that we were gonna go in it, he was collecting everyone's permission slips as they were walking through like this weird like, almost like a revolving door into the room. And finally, when he got to me, he was like, oh, you can't go in there. And I said, why? Like, why can't I go in there? I got it signed by my parents. There's no way I wasn't allowed in there. Like, I did everything I was supposed to. And he goes, because you wouldn't fit through the door. And then high fives another crackhead student. <laughs> Do you guys know how I looked in high school? Like, I, I, I was fat. Like, he, it was a fat joke, for those of you who didn't catch on. <laughs> And he took the whole entire class in there and I literally had to sit in the empty classroom while they all had fun in the dark room because I was too fat and wouldn't fit through the door. And again, I was not the same person back then as I am now. If that was now, I would have fucking sh tore him to pieces. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, I'm fat. <laughs> like I just sat by myself. I, I wish I could go back in time and just Oh my god. <laughs> I remember another time I brought in a snack because I had like a really late lunch. I think it was like 8th period and photography was like 3rd or 4th. We were allowed to have snacks. Again, chill environment, guys. And so I brought in grapes and I had them on the table. My grapes were kind of in a long container so they wound up falling over and a few of the grapes, maybe like 5 or 6, fell out and rolled out onto the floor. So I was like, no big deal, like I'll pick them up. He made a huge deal about it, like it was the end of the world. I wasn't gonna pay attention to every bad thing he said or did to me because it would have just been constant. I'm picking them up on the floor and just as I'm about to pick up the last grape, he comes over and stomps on it and squishes it to the ground. So I went to stand up and he looks at me and he goes, pick that up. If he thought I was gonna pick up a smushed ass grape from the bottom of his dirty ass shoe, he is literally a comedian. Like he should quit being a teacher, like who cares that you're tender, become a comedian because that is pure comedy. Stop treating me like I'm a piece of shit. I'm not gonna pick that up. Like, there's no way. And like, again, when he pushed me to the limits, I stood up for myself. He wound up kicking me out of the class. I got like, pass room, which is like in school suspension. Something along the lines of that. It was, it was bullshit. Um, my whole entire school was crooked. My parents, me, the twins, their parents got into so many situations with my school where like lawyers got involved. It was just like, a shit show throughout the whole thing. Very crooked. So throughout his time there, he was there for like a few months. I kind of just bit my tongue and did what I had to do. He still yelled at me all the time. But one of our final projects was we had to like make a camera out of a tissue box. Literally a tissue box with like a mirror and like fucking saran wrap. I don't know what it was. It was insane. And by that time, everyone already had like A's on everything. And it was not optional, but like you didn't have to do it and you could still get like a B plus. So everyone was kind of just fucking around and not doing it. Me and the twins always got good grades throughout high school, but like we were not getting good grades because the teachers hated us. So we were like, we have to make this camera because if we don't, like we're not going to pass and we need to pass because we need this to graduate. We actually worked really hard on it and we wound up going outside during our free period and like taking pictures, developing them, all with this tissue box. And we were really proud of it because we didn't know you could do that and it was really cool. We wound up being like three of the only people who did it. My cousin's sitting there watching me film like this and I'm supposed to like be natural and film naturally be myself. And she's sitting here like this the whole time. Finally, it was time for the original teacher who was pregnant and had the kid to come back. I assumed she was gonna be nicer, like everything was gonna be okay because she was gone, she had the kid, her hormones are gone. Still a bitch. And I almost wanna say it wasn't her fault that she was still being a bitch for reasons that I'm about to explain, but she still made my life a living hell. So as she was gone, all the projects, all the homework, all of the schoolwork, all of the participation that me and the twins put into the class, our teacher, Mr. R, was never marking it down. He always gave us zeros on everything. All the projects he was like handing back to us with like Bs or As on it, he was actually giving us zeros in the books where it really mattered. The final project where everyone had to make a tissue box, he said we didn't do it. And he wasn't really that smart about it because we wound up showing the teacher, like we left them in the class. I, I don't think he realized we were gonna show her, but yeah, we had zeros for everything. She wound up calling us up during one of the last classes one day about why we were basically gonna fail the class. Her reasoning was basically that she wasn't there and she can't give us grades because she wasn't there for any of the stuff that we did and she has to take his word for it because he was in charge and the teacher during the time. Which is so fucking unfair and crooked. I I can't even begin to like explain it. So it started escalating and getting more and more heated. She started yelling I, and it wasn't like just normal yelling. It was like that like crying, screaming yell. She wasn't crying yet, <laughs> but it was like a blood curdling screaming. Me and the twins put up with so much that year that it kind of all just exploded into this all out, like almost brawl almost. Obviously I wouldn't hit her, but it looked like the twins were gonna hit her. It was really funny. We went to the back of the room and we got our little cameras that we made and we were showing her and she was just screaming that she can't give us credit for it. Basically saying that we kind of just did it last minute and we 
literally did it when it was due. Like, this teacher screwed us over so bad. I was so mad. Everyone in the class started getting up and, like, leaving because it just got so intense and awkward. They didn't know what to do. They just started leaving and, like, going to the cafeteria. The only kid who stayed was... We'll call him Doug. He's the one that the teacher high-fived after he called me fat. Doug was such a little bitch. Like, he had these skinny legs, wore, like, these poofy jackets every day. It was, like, emo, but still, like, a douche. Like, not emotional at all. Just a douche. He was a senior and did hard drugs all the time. He was just, like, not a good person. But him and the teacher were fucking swinging from each other's balls on a daily basis. Like, they loved each other. And I don't know why, because his shit wasn't even that good. Like, my projects were better. They probably did drugs together. It was getting so heated and one of the worst fights I've ever gotten into with the teacher. I remember during the fight, even Brittany was like, fuck this, like, I'm out, I'm going to the cafeteria, it's chicken nugget day, I'm not here for this, and she just left. So now it's me and Taylor fighting. Their older sister, Chloe, who actually loved the teacher, came and was like fighting on our side, so that was like really awkward, and she was screaming. The teacher is now full-blown crying, screaming. I remember Doug, like, fucking, I don't know what he said, but he said something to me that just pissed me off. Probably something about my appearance. I don't know what it was, but it just had nothing to do with what we were talking about. And I know the teacher definitely thought, like, he was so good, like, star student. Meanwhile, I just fucking watched him snort coke off of his science folder last period. Like, and here I am, never even taking a sip of alcohol until I'm 21. Other teachers, security guards, wound up running into the room trying to break it up. The teacher's screaming, crying. It's the only time I've ever really cursed at a teacher. I've never cursed at an adult or anything, but hands were being thrown. <laughs> Everyone was being broken up by security guards and teachers. I'm not, I'm not proud of it. But you know what, when you push and push and push, you're gonna get a reaction eventually, right? Yep. We all wound up getting broken up, parents got involved, she called my parents, it, it turned into this huge thing that I don't even remember what happened. The next day in class was very awkward. <laughs> And a few days later, she wound up calling us up and asking us to show her the work that we did, which we really did. I'm putting it in quotes because she was saying we didn't do it. I definitely saw a sweeter side of her that day, one that I never saw. She must have been really sorry or maybe like the last bit of her like hormones dried up and she decided not to be a bitch anymore. But yeah, she wound up really liking our work and asking us to take <laughs> advanced photography. And I said, absolutely not. I still never want to see you again, but thanks for being a little nicer. And long story short, we wound up getting a B in the class, but she put us through a living hell. This happened so many years ago, so if it wasn't one of my best told stories, I apologize, but I was trying to remember this whole time. And also, I didn't plan this video, like sometimes I plan my story times. And I have crippling ADD, so <laughs> that's probably why it was all over the place. Sorry. But I do hope you guys liked this video. I was back with another funny story time. I have a bunch more. Like the time my high school got me banned from all colleges, and <laughs> I had to go to a community college for two years because of my high school hating me. If you guys want to see more funny story times, I definitely have them. I just try to space them out a little and, you know, put other videos in between so it's not just like boom, 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 all my stories. And then like in a year, I'm sitting in my room doing like monthly lookbooks like that no one fucking watches. So yeah, it's all, <laughs> it's strategy. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share. That helps so much. If you guys just go like get one friend right now, get them to subscribe. Like <laughs> I could be at 20,000 in like 10 seconds, but I know that's not going to happen. But some of you will, and that really helps me out, and I appreciate it more than anything. So thank you guys so much for that, and thank you for continuing to support me. I think it's crazy. I know I've told you guys that, but I never thought I would even come this far. Let's see how far I can go. Follow me on all my social medias. I am popping on Twitter. Instagram too, but like Twitter lately, I have been popping on. I hate myself. <laughs> Those are all gonna be in the description below. I talk to basically everyone on Twitter. Like, I'm very, very active on Twitter, so if you guys wanna talk to me or anything, that's the place to do it. Instagram, I usually answer all my DMs too. But yeah, until next week, I will see you guys next week. Sponsor me. Bye.